Howdy friends, it's Kathy from Rest Paper Scissors, and I just want to ask the question, can you stand one more video or tutorial about altered paper clips? I hope you can, because I feel like, uh, of course, I feel like mine are different <laughs> than everybody else's. And um, what I did was I used the alligator the rusted alligator clips and the rusted duck clips that I sell and I have an easy little trick and when we make them I'll show you uh, why these are so easy these are a lot of fun to make I had so much fun making them and you could really tailor them to a specific journal and uh, it would be easy and fun but uh, I wanted just to demonstrate some of the different or show case some of the different ones that I made and then like I say we'll make a couple um, some of them seem a little bit large and I'll demonstrate them in a book so you can see that uh, you really could probably use them in a book so we'll start with the small one and I'm going to demonstrate some of them in the journal but I'm going to just demonstrate some um, you know, by themselves, because you don't need to see them clipped to a page. And especially the smaller ones. This one was one that I thought could be more of a grunge style. Uh, uh, altered paper clip. And I just thought we could show it in this, this little journal. You just, they're really easy to use. You just slip them on the page. And then um, what I like about them is the uh, top of the clip shows so you could put on some of them I added a rhinestone and some of them I left blank I didn't know people are as crazy about rhinestones as I am but I love them but on the inside you can still you know add a you know it's a tuck spot and then on the back of this one it's just um you know the back side on some of them I put some journaling uh, spaces. So that's that one. And then this is a smaller one. Um, and like I say, I used the corrugated cardboard. I used some ribbon twist paper and then just a digital. When you use the cardboard, you have to be aware of the direction of the cardboard. If you want your clip at the top, the the corrugated cardboard needs to run horizontal. If you want it to clip from the side, it needs to run vertical. And I'll show you why in just a minute, but that's just a little tip. But this one is a side one. It ha does have the um, rhinestone on it. The back, I just added some, um, It's you can't hardly see it, but it's just a journaling spot. So I thought it would be fun to have a journaling spot on the back of your paper clip. So I wanted to demonstrate that when this is just a book, I didn't have a journal that I was making. So I just pulled this one and kind of threw it together. And so it's, it's just held together with clips. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like on a page. And then this is just, uh, that's your page. It, you know, shows from the side. I'll pull it out just a little bit. It shows from the side. And then it shows from the cover. So that's that. And then you still have a lot of room. You have some, but on this side, you have a journaling spot. So I, I liked that. I thought that was a little different than those. So that's that one. This is another one of the same thing, the little cart postal. Again, it's the uh, papers. And then on the back, I did just ledger paper. So that's the same. This was just a digital. Uh, image that I thought was so pretty and then I collaged uh, on the back and just added another print and thought that would look great you know in a journal let's see I'll show you just looks great you know on a page there again the top sticks out and um, we have a tuck spot uh, this was a little different one uh, on the front of the uh, alligator clip, I just added a piece of trim, and then on the back is just a digital, and uh, I thought that would be really cute 
that's an example of it on a little tiny journal and then there's the back or if you wanted to do it inside a journal you just clip it onto a page and then you have that so that's that one and then uh, let's see this is another this is a, a little different one it's uh, kind of what I call my Paris themed ones. I love this image of the dress form. And then I just added some lace and some eyelet trim. Again, the corrugated cardboard. Then on the back, I just added this little digital onto some uh, cardboard. And then I added a eyelet and some uh, little tags and the ball and chain chain. And so that was that one, and I thought that was really cute. And let's just put that on a page and see what it looks like. So there's a page there, or a little bigger page. Let's see what it looks like on a, in a bigger journal. So there, there it is there. And then there's on the back. Oh, there it is on the back. There it is. I'm not in frame. Sorry. So that's that one. Then um, I had an idea of using the um, wallpaper and just the corrugated cardboard. And then I added this embossed paper and it makes it a little tuck spot. Probably looks better with something not so. And then on the back, I just did a um, collaged uh, piece of cardboard. And then I added the book darts. I love these. I sell these in my shop and just, you could add a tag there and I didn't do anything to it. So that's that one. I want to show you that even though these are a little bit bigger, they still work on a page. Um, you know, they're not too big. You know, you still got a lot of room around that to, to work on. Um, so that's that one. Then this was one that uh, I did where I just collaged the front and I had uh, made these little uh, paper ribbon, paper wire uh, images and did a tutorial on that the other day. I added a baby owl clip so you could add a, um, a tag if you wanted. Just slip that under there. So it's again, there's a tuck spot. And then the back is a carte postale and a place for you to journal. And then if we just clip it into a journal, you still have a lot of room. And it shows from the top. And then the image, the little uh, rhinestone shows from the back. Or which, whichever side you want to put it on. I usually just put it on one side, but you could put them on both sides. So that's that one. This was just an example of a digital and I backed it on some corrugated cardboard on the back. Oh, I like this. Let's show this one. Um, this one clips on this side of the page. So I thought it would be neat to have, you know, your, your clips. You could have any label you want and uh, then you can write all around it. You could, you know, you could have a specific journal prompt. And so uh, that's just what that looks like. So I wanted to show that. And then um, I guess another one from the Paris collection was this, uh, again, the dress form. I love that. And you could add rhinestones. You could add a rhinestone. And then the back was just a dress form. And that clips on the side of a page. And I'll show you. That just clips there. And so it looks great. Oops. <laughs> I keep getting out of frame. Sorry. So, um, all right, now we're going to get, I wasn't going to do any Christmas, but I couldn't resist. Um, I love these little, um, I don't, I guess it's a tag that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I also got the little Santa from Hobby Lobby. So I just attached them to a, um, alligator clip and they look so cute and a journal. So there, you know, that's on the, that page. Or you could do it on another page where you could write. There you go. See the page you could write. But I just love those. I thought those were so cute. So that's one. And then this Santa, I just made him Santa on both sides. 
I guess it's Santa coming and going. So Santa, and then we have Santa. Okay. And then the last one was just um, uh, uh, it says Christmas exposition, and then the back is just a Santa. So I think you know what that looks like. And then these were the three of the larger ones. And I'll say the Paris one for last because that's kind of my favorite. But this was just a guest check, and I thought you could journal on that. And then on the back is just a collage that I made of a digital print. And this is, again, the paper wire on an image that I had uh, done a tutorial on. And then I just want to show, although it's big, it does clip onto a page and uh you know it works you could still you know have something around it so uh that's an example of the larger ones and then this was an example of just a oh what is this a graft index card and i added a digital uh sticker and then it says in the garden and then on the back i added some wallpaper and then some embossed uh, paper, and it's just a little, uh, makes it a little pocket, and also it's still a tuck spot, and it would fit on your page, and it's there on your page, and then there's that on that page. Oh, that's that side. And then I figured we needed one that was kind of over the top, and um, I love Paris. I love the sticky-backed velvet. Um, I just uh, wanted to do something kind of just a little special. And when I was doing it, the first one I made didn't really work, but I set it down on a book cover. And if this wasn't attached to the uh, alligator clip, you know, it could be the front of a cover and really be pretty. But um, I just, I, I loved it. I love that image. I love the trim. I found this trim and I've enjoyed using it. But I wanted to showcase it in... The journal and here's just like like the front of your signature maybe for your Paris journal you could have that and I think that looks very nice and then this is a tuck spot and um, it doesn't seem to stay in there very good but it does you know you can put things in there and then it is still a you know it would still hold papers and stuff um, if you wanted. So that's that one, but that was kind of my, you know, homage to Paris. And I'm going to uh, stop the video for a second and um, set up for us to demonstrate how to, to make these, and they're really quick, and you're going to you're gonna be surprised. Uh, just a minute, I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm set up for us to do our demonstration. Don't be scared. It's not going to take a long time, but uh, I did want to do a couple of these. And the trick I want to show you about when I'm talking about the corrugated cardboard is, like I've talked about the direction. If you want the clip at the top, it needs to be horizontal, no, no vertical. And then if you want it on the side, it needs to be horizontal. And I think I said that backwards the last time. But um, what we're going to do, we're going to do this one from the top. And so all I do is I find the center of the corrugated cardboard, and I'm just going to slip that on there. Now, you could glue it, but it stays. So that's, that's that one. And then I'm going to um, just use some, what is this glue? It's um, the, the Barely Art glue. And we'll just glue this onto the, the front, just wherever you want it. And then uh, let's glue this one before we uh, stick it on there. I think these would be really cute in a little, um, oh, what is it, a gardening journal. You just want to get your, you want to get your image positioned. These don't have to line up exactly, 
because you know you don't see it on the other page if the cardboard's not exactly the same size it doesn't really matter okay so this one we're gonna just all we're gonna do is clip it in there and you're done you have a altered paper clip easy peasy so that's that one and uh, we may put a um, image on that. I, I, I Ryan's not a, this was just, I thought these two little playing cards and I thought they were cute. The Queen of Hearts and the Two of Hearts. And um, what I did was I um, inked the back at the top where it, it might show on a page. And then all we're going to do is just glue these to this uh, Ryan's. I'm going to put the Queen of Hearts with the, the diamond. So let's do that. And it's just really easy. I uh, just put some glue on there. Um, I do take a piece of paper. And then I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm not showing it on the, this is a smaller little um, alligator clip. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of clean up that back. Make it straight. Oops. Make it straight. Okay. And then I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper. I can find one here. We'll just use this. And I'm going to put it in between these two. And then I'm just going to glue on this side. And then we take the two of hearts and I try to kind of, I might move this paper down just a tad so I can line it up. And then I'm going to line the little card up and hold it and you have another paper clip. So it's still got to dry, but isn't that cute? You got your paper clip. Okay, so there's two. Then uh, this this is just the same thing, so I'm not going to demonstrate it because this video is being too long. But you just take a image, you're going to glue it on the front, and then I like the idea of these paper clips having a journaling spot, so uh, I added that so we could do that. But I don't. I'm not going to demonstrate that. It's just going to take too long. Now this one, I loved this little girl. I thought she was so cute, and I thought she would be so cute on some corrugated cardboard. So let's glue her down. And um, let's just get it on there as best you can. Just kind of have to hold it for a second. And then I wanted to add a little uh, lace I thought would be cute. So let's just, let's see what size. I guess it doesn't matter. But I'm just going to put some uh, glue on the lace, on the trim. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And then we'll just put in and we'll trim it on the side and I might need some more glue. I think I need some more glue on this side, but we're gonna, in fact, you could take it to the back if you wanted, but I didn't do that. So we'll just take some more glue and do this in and just make sure you get it straight and then we'll let that dry and then I'll, I'll cut it off here and then we'll trim it up later. Well, I'll say that. So that's that, and then we're going to find the center of, as best we can, this little corrugated cardboard, and that's, uh, you don't always, you know, get lucky and get it exactly in the center, but that's not bad. So that's there, and then I thought for the back of this one, she looked a little vintage, I thought, so we could add a... This is a little flower that I made, and I added a fender washer and a brad. So we're just going to put some glue on the brad, and we're going to attach that to this um, 
alligator clip and let's see if I can do it on camera. I want to get oh let's put a piece of let's put a piece of paper under there just in case we get some glue where we don't want it. And then let's try and I'm gonna try and line up that brad with the paper clip as best I can. Just kind of hold it on there. And we'll see if we can let that dry. We'll put that off to the side and finish that one up. Then this was another one that I thought was really cute. And I wanted to show, oh, I have tons and tons of corrugated cardboard scraps. So I was going to say, if anybody would like me to uh, make up some kits where it's the alligator clips and the corrugated cardboard, uh, leave me a comment, and if I have enough interest, I will make those kits because uh, they're really fun and easy to do. Um, this one, this is just an example of a piece of corrugated cardboard, and I figured that this image fit on there. You can tear the cardboard, and that works fine, but sometimes... I don't tear straight or whatever. So I use my deco scissors and I'm just gonna cut along here. And then um, there she is. I might trim up that side just a tad so it doesn't look so. Okay, and then we're just gonna glue her on there. This is going to be a, a top loading one, so we're going to put the stripes vertical <laughs> and all. And like I say, you could put some glue onto the alligator clip just to secure it if you wanted it. But I found, you know, it stays on there pretty good. So I'm just going to stick that in there. And then for the back, I thought this was cute. A little guest check. Again, I did the paper ribbon or paper wire around an image that I printed. And I'm just going to glue that on the back. We'll get another little piece of paper. And uh, we'll put the glue on here. And then the glue, I'm going to move it up so I can see that. And then I'm going to just add the guest check where I think it's kind of in the center. And we'll let that dry for a minute, okay? So let's go back and look at the ones that we made. And then we'll be done. So I'm gonna try and find um, just, here is the little garden one that we made. And uh, it easily slips into a journal. And you can right on both sides in a little gardening journal. This is our Queen of Hearts and Two of Hearts. And again, it easily clips onto a page and uh, looks great. A little brinestone sticks out. Let's see if we can make it stick out here. And then if the book's closed, the little rhinestone, can you see it? Might have to pull it up some. There you go. So that's that one. And then let's see if this one has dried and if we can finish it up real quick. My scissors aren't cutting super great, but let's see if I can just trim that edge. And then we'll trim this side. Okay. And then the back is where we had the um, little, oh, what is that? A little flower that I crocheted. And let's put that on a page and see what that looks like. That looks pretty nice. And then I, I love her. I think she's so cute. And like I say, there's so much fun to 
make the front and back. And like I say, if you're doing a specific uh, journal, you can really tailor it to your journal. But here, here she is. And then let's take our, our glued paper out to protect it. And then here she is. And then here's the back. And let's put her in a journal and on a page and see what she looks like. Uh, I love her, her face, so we'll, we'll do her this way. So that's that on a, a page. And then there's that, and it's a journaling spot. It's also, you can tuck things underneath it. You could uh, journal underneath that as a hidden journal spot. So those are the um, hidden paper clips that I made. And I, I would appreciate your comments and telling me what you think about them. And uh, if you like them, I'd also, if you're interested in uh, me making up some um, of the alligator clips with the corrugated cardboard, I could make up, you know, just, it would be a variety of shapes and sizes of the cardboard and uh, I could put the clips, but um, I just wanted to, you know, um, show you how much fun it was to make these, and um, it goes really quick. You can, uh, you know, do a variety of things, add tags, add tuck spots, make a little, uh, you know, kind of like a little uh, sticker, um, this is the one with the example of the tuck spot where it also has a tuck spot in there. And then the back had the little uh, book dart. So there's just a variety. And I, I, pre I do appreciate your time and um, just hope you, you like this. And if you do, it would help me and my channel if you would hit the like button because apparently that does something with... Uh, YouTube's uh, algorithm and it shows more so the more people who like it the more it shows so I would appreciate that I'd appreciate it if you subscribed if you like it um, I do appreciate your time and I uh, hope you have a wonderful day